a blessed evening to everyone or blessed day to every to those in other parts of the world before my homily i would just like to greet my tatay who is celebrating his birthday and watching this live streaming uh, There is an appointed time for everything and a time for everything under the heavens. Uh, here in this extraordinary passage of the book of Ecclesiastes or Kohelet, this uh, wise and provocative uh, author in the Old Testament presents his vision of history that is that tries to describe the its circular and repetitive character very much different from the traditional view in the bible that has a direction a goal and it is messianic just before coming down i read the reflection of our great uh, biblical scholar Father Randy Flores. Uh, the caution to take this, the reading, the first reading precisely, not as a commandment, not as an imperative, but a description. Because it seems that uh, someone powerful used it to justify his killing spree and he cautioned that this, this is not the point of the reading. It is a description. It is not a command. On this, uh, uh, the text, we find here that uh, God has determined a kind of a, a point where everything revolves around. And uh, this wheel of life of human events revolves around in an inexorable and mysterious succession of events that are, or actions that are extreme and opposite, which embrace the whole life and action of humans as expressed in, in the first reading, a time to be born and a time to die, etc. The opposite action, extreme, both extreme and uh, um, opposite actions, which embrace our life and the actions of human beings. So there are 14 pairs of opposite description of time which paints precisely history as a relentless casting that wraps everything in a nonsensical rhythms and in acts that repeat itself. And they also eliminate its other. In the midst of this absurdity, God has placed in humans the sense of the eternal, of a sense of harmony and purpose, instead of just this mysterious, seemingly devoid of meaning and purposeless life. Yes, it is a harsh reflection that uh, challenges and demolishes our illusions of grandeur, illusions of knowledge. It is God's Word that speaks also through our doubts and miseries, miseries of human intelligence and waiting for the appearance of a better and clearer light. The message of the first reading. 
So here God reminds us that while on the one hand there seems to be absurdity of things and life because of its predictable and inescapable pattern of contrasting events of life, of being born and dying, etc. But God, on the other hand, assures us through this uh, author, Kohelet, who at the end of the reading today declared that God is the one who has made everything right in its time. God has given humanity a sense of uh, that which transcends the present but without the ability yet to grasp totally what God has done, has, has stored for us. So in the midst of this uncertainty, it is important to remember that God is in charge. And we profess in our faith that the coming of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, into our world, assuming our flesh, is His way of telling us that He has dominion over time and history, that He is in charge of history. And we can be sure of that life has a direction, has a 